this instructional video, we will be addressing the topic of fuse replacement for your Gemini 12 volt SEL slider. Your motor is equipped with three fuses, two are situated on the PC board and one is located on the power supply. Initiate the process by carefully removing both the motor cover and the PC board cover. On the PC board cover, note of the presence of three spare fuses, a 3 amp, a 16 amp, and a 0.5 amp. These fuses serve as replacements should any of the primary fuses blow. Prior to extracting the fuses, it is imperative to ensure that both the battery and power are disconnected. Additionally, always employ a multimeter known as a tester to assess the fuse continuity. Positioned on the PC board is a 3 amp fuse, safeguarding the motor from external connections. Should an issue arise causing a short circuit, this fuse will blow, rendering the motor inoperative. The 16 amp fuse is designed to blow in the event of a collision or excessive motor amperage draw. This serves to protect your motor and gearbox from potential damage due to mechanical failures or unforeseen events. When dealing with the power supply, it is of utmost importance to disconnect the 220 volt power source and switch off the mains powering the gate motor. I will now demonstrate how to remove the power supply, granting convenient access for fuse replacement. If the power supply fuse is blown, your battery will not charge. You can verify this by checking the status of the red LED indicator in the top right corner of the power supply and PC board. If the LED is not illuminated, it is possible that the fuse is blown, and you may replace it with a 0.5 amp fuse. Here are the fuse values for our 24 volt sliding gate motors. The process of replacing these fuses remains identical. The only small variation to the 12 volt sliders lies in the fuse's value. 